everybody. What we're going to do in this lesson is go over how to take a transfer function and convert it over to state space. Now I have another tutorial on YouTube that goes over this, but the numerator on that one is just a constant. It's like one, I think. I don't remember what the value is, but I had several people ask, what do we do if there's like a polynomial up in the numerator? Okay, so that'll be how that'll be what we cover here. So how to handle this kind of case. So what we want to do first is let's kind of split this up. So let's do block diagram form and write out what we've got. So we're going to have our input R of S, right? And then let's just make this. So the numerator is a one and then we have our denominator. Okay. So there we've got that. And then Coming out of here, let's call it x of s. You can call it whatever variable you want. And then now we got to take into account this numerator, right? Because we've got this 3s plus 1 up here. So let's take that and put that in a block right here. And then let's have this output be called c of s. Okay, so we're going to do it in two parts. We're going to find the information we need for this part, and then we're going to look at this part here. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's start with this initial part here. Okay, so let's use um, the 1 over s squared plus 7s plus 9. That is like a transfer function, right? So it's output over input. So that means if the output is x of s, we'll have that over the input, which is r of s right here. So now we've got this expression here. Okay. Now, what we want to do is basically cross multiply. Okay, so let's cross multiply. And if we do that, let's have s squared plus 7s plus 9 times x of s. And this x and this x are the same. I just put the bars on this one for some reason. And then let's multiply this one, the 1 times the r of s. So we just end up with r of s. Okay, so remember these capital letters mean we've taken the Laplace transform of x of t and r of t. That's what those capitals mean there. Now, using the differentiation theorem, essentially, we know that if we have s squared times this Laplace of x, that can be rewritten as x double dot. Okay, this one right here, we've got plus 7. And then we've got s times x of s, so that means we've got x dot there. Because remember, the exponent on the s tells you the order of the derivative. And then here we've got 9x of s, so that's just going to be plus 9x. All right, and then over here we're just going to have r, you could put r of t, whatever you want. Okay, so now I've got this expression here. All right, a little differential equation here. And we want to get it into state space. So what we're going to do is we're going to create our state variables. And we want to create our state variables so that we have one for each term. So x1 equals x. And then let's do x2 equals x dot. So we want to have one for each term until we get to the n minus 1 uh, derivative term. Okay, so we had a second order derivative here, so I'm going to go to the first order derivative right here. Okay, and the reason for that is, is because we got to take the derivative of these. Okay, so if y'all watched the other video, you'll know, you know these steps. So we need to take the derivative of these. So if we do that, we do x1 dot equals x dot. Well, guess what? x dot is x2. And then here we got x2 dot equals x double dot, right? Because we're taking the derivative of x dot. So now we've got x double dot. Well, we don't have a variable for that, right? So what we're going to do is take this equation, solve for the x double dot. Okay. So that means we're going to take the 7x dot term, move it over, 9x moves over. So the signs there become negative. So we'll end up having our r minus 7x dot minus 9x. Now remember when we're switching over to state space, I want to use these little system variables, right? So I want to get rid of the x dot and then the x. So that means that we're going to rewrite this as r minus 7x dot becomes x2, and then minus 9x becomes x1. 
All right, so let's hang on to this. We'll just call this number one. We'll use it in a minute when we write out the actual matrices here. Now that we've got this done, I need to worry about this part. Okay, so now let's add in the effect of the numerator. Okay, so let's see what we've got here. The input into this block is x of s, output is c of s, right? So just like we did here, you can basically write it out. So it's output over input, remember, for uh, the block. So that means we can write out that we've got um, c of s over x of s is going to be 3s plus 1. Okay, so output over input, just like we always have for a transfer function. And now I'm looking for c, okay, because if we remember from state space, x dot equals ax plus b times um, u, so this will be your little input vector, and then for the output we have y equals c times x. Okay, so we're going to have this part here taken care of with 1, and then this part we're going to do right here. So I'm looking for c. Okay, c is here, so let's multiply. So c of s is going to be 3s plus 1 times the x, like that. And then just like what we did up here, we do the same thing. Okay, so c then is going to be 3sx. So that is the first derivative of x, right? So 3x dot, because the s times the x of s, remember, gives you that first derivative of x. And then here we've got 1 times x. So that'll just give us plus x. Okay, so now we've got that. Now I don't want to leave these in terms of x and x dot, right? So I need to use these variables here. So we're going to replace x dot with x2. And then x gets replaced with x1. Now we've got what we need, let's call this 2 here, to get the actual state space representation. Okay, so, so number 1 here, this information is going to be used in this first equation. 2 is going to be used in the second equation. Alright, so let's put from 1, and then let's write this out in matrix form. Okay, so our variables, we have x1, x2, so on the left side we've got the derivative of those. So we have x1 dot, x2 dot. And then now let's do our A matrix. And our A matrix is multiplied by x, so that's x1 and x2. Um, so now our A matrix is just going to be the coefficients here. Um, where we don't have r, right? So we want the coefficients of the state variables, so x1 and x2. So with that, if we look, if we go to the x1 dot row right here, x1 dot is equal to x2. So in matrix form, we'd write a 0 and then a 1, right? Because when I multiply these, I'm going to have 0 times x1 plus 1 times x2, which gives me this, okay? And then for the second one, we go to x2 dot for this second row here. The coefficient for x1 is negative 9. Coefficient for x2, negative 2. Or not negative 2, negative 7, sorry. Okay, so then that'll give me negative 9x1 minus 7x2, which is what we have here. Now we got to go to our B matrix. Okay, and our input is R. Okay, and we know that because this was the input here, so let's just call it R. So now we want to look at our equations and see if we have an R term. I don't have an R term here, so this goes to zero. The second equation here, I do have an R term, right? So this is going to be a one. Okay, so this part here came from section one. Okay, now let's look at this output, and this comes from section two. Okay, so we'll just say y equals, we're going to have our c matrix times state vector, so that's going to be x1, x2. And then now we know we have this equation for c. Okay, well all we need to do then, will we pull off those coefficients. 
So the coefficient for this first one here is 1, because that's what goes with x1. And then we have 3. Right? So when you multiply it out with the matrix, you have 1x1 plus 3x2, which is what we have right here. So this one, remember, came from 2. And this whole thing, then, is the state space representation. All right, and we found that using this transfer function. Okay, so it's pretty similar to what we did in the other video when we just had the constant in the numerator. The difference is you got to separate it out and then do this piece separately like, like we did right here. All right, so um, it's really not, not too much more complicated, but it is an extra step. All right, so hopefully y'all found that helpful, and I will talk to y'all next time.